Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Because everybody talks about um, Neves and Moutinho. Yeah. Just how good was oh. um, Diogo Jota? Because I think when he signed for Liverpool, he, he was one of those who actually had a real impact. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and he's one of the ones kind of... There were so many players come and go at Wolves when I was yeah. there, top players, and he was one of the ones where I was really kind of at a point where I thought to myself, we're losing a gem here. We're losing a serious, yeah. serious player here. Kind of what he brought to the power. His work right Honest well. to God, the power he had in his legs, mate, to run past people, to bully people, to hold people off. You know Nordics? Yeah. Mate, I've never seen anybody do a Nordic night in his life. <laughs> yeah. So I've ever heard of Nordics. So Nordics is like this thing where you come down for your yeah. hamstrings and as you come down, basically, I hit the floor. Hold it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But he comes down and goes up. Oh, comes down and goes mate. up. Like, I've never seen power in in a lad, especially someone as small as him as well. Yeah. And what he'd done for kind of us as a team and playing with him was just incredible. But one of the goals he scored, we, we beat Man United in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup to get to the to get to the semis against, yeah, against yeah, you boys, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And the goal he scored where he went on a little mazy run, ended up just like Luke Shaw's fantastic one of yeah. one of my mates, what a fantastic player, but just moved him out the way <laughs> and slapped it in with his left foot, and we all just went, "What a goal!" Yeah, like, Luke like, strong, honest to he? God, like what he brought, and he's one of the ones kind of who I really I thought at the time, God, we've lost lost a serious yeah, serious a player. One, but yeah. what I will say about him, he's tight as anything. Really. <laughs> Is he? Well, he was. Don't know if he is now. Don't know he's if he on is the now. Liverpool wages oh, now. He was, he was <laughs> tight as anything. Was he tight, really? If you're tight, you're tight, mate. Oh, it doesn't matter if you're earning 10 anything. grand a week or 100 grand a week, mate. You're tight. Oh, it's the way it goes. tight as anything at our place. Yeah, all the boys will say the same as well. Nah, right? Diogo, come yeah. on. That's, that's <laughs> shit from but, you. Mate. Like when he went into that Liverpool, because that was in the, the years where Firmino was but really at The front three. It's the front three. The big boy front three as well. He really dislodged him, didn't he? Because there was a period, remember, in the FPL season where he was every week. He was a threat, mate. Massive yeah, threat. Yeah. Um, and then I want to talk about Jimenez. Um, mm. First of all, um, the injury. Mm. I want to take it back to that day, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, the, the, there's that picture where David Luiz has got his head on his and you are quite literally Ooh. just behind yeah, him, yeah, yeah. you? So yeah. you get to see it up close and personal. How scary <clears throat> is that? Oh, mate, one, of the worst, one of the worst things I've ever seen in my really? life, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, because we set up kind of on, on corners where he was always front space. I was always front six yard, yeah. kind of in the zone type of thing. So as the ball came in, we all go up together. And to be, to, David Luiz is, is attacking it as yeah. any defender does. There's no blame on anybody. But as we all go up, the noise of it, mate, honestly, and on, I don't mean to, 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 to speak like that here, but honestly, the noise of it was horrendous. And kind of as we all come down, he obviously drops. And as we look at him, he was out. And he, so he's on his side. And as he's on his side, his nose started bleeding. Oh. But obviously he's out. And at the time, I'm thinking, so we're all waving the doctors on. And you just knew it wasn't great. You knew full well it wasn't great. And, we ended up winning that game 2-1, which is mad, really considering good. But the game after it was played at like a preseason yeah. level, honestly. Even Ar- even Arsenal, Just to be fair. Out to him. Of everybody. Yeah, massively. And at like, half time, no one spoke about the game. We went in at half time. Straight away it was where's Raul? How's Raul? What's he doing? Where is he? All that sort of thing. Gaffer didn't even speak. We went out for the second half. We won the game, but they were exactly the same. So that injury, what it done for the game, but then what it done to us as a team. Listen, like, he was an incredible player, mate. Incredible. But he is an incredible player. Yeah. But what he done for us before his injury, he was everything to us. Do you know what I mean? As a yeah. team, like what it's like having, you know, it's like having a, like a world class striker in your a team. Talisman, it's, it? it's incredible. Do you know what I mean? It gives you everything. Like scoring goals, the hardest job in the world, the hardest job in the world. And he done it for us on a frequent basis. He had done a bit it all of everything the time. as well. Everything yeah. like he, could, he could get it on everything. his chest. He could oh, hold yeah. it. Up. Everything bring people into play. Yeah. He would set our press. So no matter where, so we'd want to force the ball wide. He would always set it. Yeah. He would always set that press. So then after losing, him, we lost so much in kind of, and I don't think people kind of understood it. Yeah. So we ended up finishing that season, I think, 13th, 14th in the Premier League. But he was a huge factor to that because he played every minute of every game. Yeah, he did, He yeah. trained every oh, day. Yeah, he worked his so tits ev- off So everything well, about he? what he'd done was everything to us. So to lose him was was heartbreaking for, for him, more importantly, and his family. But I think what it done to us as a team, I think it's shown as well, yeah. Well, thankfully, fully recovered. Yeah, and, um, yeah. and he's Absolutely. back doing a bit. You mentioned 100%. a minute ago, I want to talk about um, the uh, FA Cup semi-final, uh, yeah. Wolves v Watford. You would want to talk about no, that well, one, I yeah. didn't play in the game. <laughs> yeah, I, did it. I didn't play in the game, but yeah. I did enjoy the game at least. Yeah. Well, I got to enjoy the game. Tell me yeah. from your perspective. One of the worst days I've ever had in, ever had in football, mate. Yeah, I've ne- yeah, I've never watched it back. Never watched it back and... I think I said to you before, mate, about, I think for 75 minutes, I think it was the most perfect performance. Yeah. I think we, we, we were really good. Oh, we played really, really, really well. Yeah, we scored us, two yeah. brilliant goals and how we played was brilliant. And then Gerard Delafay, who come on and it was kind of, I think I said to you before as well, about, it was like he had a little bit of a cob on yeah. when he came on that oh, he wasn't starting. Yeah, it was like he had a yeah. bit of a cob on. It was like, I'm going to show you. Yeah. And when he came on, he just changed the whole game. And 
whether I should say this or but we weren't really ready for it. Yeah. Like, it was mad because I think we were in kind of a little bit of cruise control because we're comfortable here, we're okay, we're tuning it up, we'll see the game out, we're all good. We, when we had the lead, we were always quite good yeah. as a team because we, we block up and we'd be in our shape and different things. But he just come on and just ran as ragged. And the way he played when he came on was brilliant. And as soon as it went to two all, and I think Troy scored the penalty, the penalty in, yeah. <clears throat> in the last minute, you shouldn't say this. But it was so hard for us to then go and win it an extra time. Yeah. It was so hard because you've gone from that high of being Wind down the sails. Yeah. You, you know you know what it's like, mate, in terms of you're cruising at 2-0, yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. fine, and all of a sudden it's bang, bang. You're too all in. You've gone from one foot in the FA Cup final to now, oh, my God, we're on the back footer, you're big time. And you were obviously, had, you were away, you, you, you were flying. And it was so hard to kind of come back from that. And then we had a bit of a hangover from that. We actually played, thinking back now, we played Southampton a week later and got beat 3-0 away. And Wait, that, we were still feeling it. It was that, mad. That, honestly, it was so mad. Like, do you remember when I was at Blues? When we, mm. we won the League Cup with Birmingham City, yeah, yeah, right? And yeah. honestly, that was the worst thing that could happen to us. We yeah. won that League Cup final. And yeah. bear in mind, that's late February or yeah, March yeah. or whatever it is, right? We must have gone on the most horrific run from yeah. that moment on. Emotional energy just zapped yeah, out yeah, of yeah. us, mate. It Completely gone, right? Yeah. So I remember anyway, just thinking back to that day, I remember, like I said, when you when we went into extra time, so we're buzzing our team. Mm just got a last minute equaliser out of nowhere we've pulled it back blah 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 and we're thinking right we look good here Wolves look a bit tired yeah. the game kicks off into extra time and I'm thinking they look fucked by the way <laughs> they look absolutely yeah. gone here and we knew we just knew at that moment that we were going to go on and win it it was a mad game yeah, it was meant it? To, more mentally isn't it? you know when yeah, it gets it like is, that yeah, it's, so, sure. it's so mental kind of in a game of that stature and kind of how the game went and like I said the penalty in the last minute absolutely just took the like, knocked the stuffing off to us massively massively I'm going to I'm going to bring it up now before the <coughs> comments on you YouTube do. Um, we can't talk about Wolves Watford without talking about Molyneux on <laughs> the 10th of March 2022. Is it 22? Jeez. Yeah, so <laughs> Wolves, that long ago. Wolves <laughs> popped Watford 4 0. Yeah. You didn't have your finest ever game. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think the thing that struck me is I've never seen you probably that low after a game. Yeah. And the other thing is. Wolves are um, like I'm a Wolves fan, F kind of like what's the word persistent oh, with the chanting. Vile. I, I don't think I've <laughs> ever, is what I it don't was. think I have <laughs> ever seen <laughs> a crowd chant about one player yeah. for ninety minutes straight. Oh, yeah. Why, did why, you notice? Why they you like give that, them a bit, though, don't you? You I give do them a give bit. Them a you bit did. Give you do give them a bit. It's because I was at West Brom for because I yeah. played for West Brom for eight years, yeah. so I did. I did give them a little. You bit. You did put a fair. little tweet out. We'll put it on the well, screen. It was now. after the FA Cup semi final. I, I put something like, um, "Always nice to beat the Wolves," and because when I was at West Brom, we beat Wolves five one once. Yeah. Okay, Mick McCarthy was manager. He got sacked literally after that game. We battered them. It was at Molyneux, um, and so when I spelt the Wolves, I did the W O, and then the one was the Al, and then the S at the end was the five. Um, so the Wolves fans knew. You are. So the Wolves fans knew what I was coming for. Don't forget it. Do uh, you? They, they not, didn't forget it. Yeah, they didn't forget yeah. it. It was brutal. Wasn't yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Do you notice that in the game? I noticed Do you it notice with him. It? <laughs> I noticed it with him because they were on him every time he got the ball. Every time he got the ball. To be fair, whenever I played against, it's been that way. Yeah, Even when you, yeah. do, do you know what I mean. Whenever yeah. I played against, it's been that way. But I think. Kind of going back to kind of playing there, you were the only one really who it stuck with. Yeah, <laughs> so they, long. They I'll be honest, because there is some players it happens to, and then it disappears after a couple of games. Yeah, no, but with you, it was constant. I think yeah. you're up there with Wolves most hated. It was oh, constant. yeah, for sure. Do you know, honestly, like I'll, I'll hold my hands up on this as well. That genuinely affected me that day. Did it? You know when fan, you know yeah. when fans say like, oh, do, do fans you shot me there, you know? Yeah, mate, genuinely, yeah, mate. Yeah. You know, when they say, will will fans get in your head? Can they yeah. affect the outcome of anything like yeah, that? Yeah. That day, genuinely, they got in my head. And they affected my performance. What I will, day. what I will say is, though, I think it's probably harder. The hardest part for a keeper, I think, if it was to happen to an outfielder, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think it's a little bit different. Do you know what I mean? I think yeah. with the keeper, because you're on your own, mate. You just, you know there. what I mean? You're on your own. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> but right. I'm just looking around. And like I, I said, like every time the ball comes back to you, you're hearing noises yeah. and you're hearing chants and you're hearing things. So I think for a keeper, I think it's the hardest thing in the world. I think if it was to happen to me. It'd be a lot different. You, you know can I mean? almost, but like, it wouldn't happen it to off. me because I'm not as petty as that. It's true, mate. It's true. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.